Hi guys, how are you doing? It's Andy the GD Script Dude with an update on the Digital Logic Simulator project which is using GD Script and Godot Engine. So here we are in the logic scene which has had a big update today. Let's run the scene. We can see that we have like the top menu here, the home page and navigation around the main pages, but now we've got these icons here for the functions within the digital within the logic page and you can see i've added the textures to so that when you hover over the buttons that changes a bit and then when you click down there's another one for like when you've activated the button and we've got various features like this one the library of parts which is choose, says choose a circuit. We can have a new circuit or an existing one. And some simple things I've said before like that, the NAND gate. And if we hold down the right or the middle buttons, we are now able to pan around. Actually, the, only the right button. <laughs> and then drop it down there. And if I save that, now let's it's going to remember that what scene it has saved what circuit it has saved i just moved that but if i go here click on this one this is load and in the, the memory of it it's remembering what scene we're on what circuit we're using so it will load and then it'll go back to where we were do it again load there you go then change something like this the position of that click that to save it and then do something such as have a new circuit that wipes the slate clean but then let's go back and that was the nan circuit wasn't it that we saved click that and it comes back with the nan circuit we can play around with it like that and add some more to it put that in there and toggle uh, the logic values and then save it by clicking this button and for example wipe it out and then bring it back again we got our old circuit back again and we got we've implemented some code for the other things like help just a placeholder there pop up and play doesn't do anything yet so we got a uh, load, save, and choose a, we, like for example, we can do that. Have a new circuit, make it like so. Have to wait for a pin to connect it. And the output, like that. Shouldn't really complete the circuit, should we? Go there. There's another one. Oh, we could always go to there as well. And then, yeah, play around with it. Then save that as a test circuit. Actually, you click that and it will ask us for a title because it doesn't know this circuit. This is a new one. So, test circuit. Hopefully, I haven't already called it something like that already. Uh, let's call it test circ. Okay, go there. And then wipe it away. And then we should see it listed here somewhere. I call it test and I. Yeah, that's the one. So yeah, we've got quite a lot of things going on here. The code was really like complicated, but yeah, 500 lines almost, I think. Let's put it on distraction mode free free of distraction that's what they call it see this logic scene is quite simple that's just handling the buttons mainly and the actual circuit gd that's the one look how much code we've got there tons and tons really a lot of code and then we got some globals here for like deleting a file getting files and stuff like that 
So it's proceeding pretty well, I think. And I'm looking forward to building on this further. Just a quick update for now. Okay, cheers. See you later. Stay safe.